Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from todaysiphone.com and today I'm going to be going over my favorite widgets to use in my notification center on my jailbroken iPhone. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. Now before we go any further, I just wanted to explain this to you guys. When you install a widget inside Cydia, it is not instantly turned on. It is actually turned off by default when it's installed. So you actually have to go into settings and notifications and turn them on. Uh, one thing that's nice is you don't have to respring when you turn on any kind of widget here. So uh, right off the bat, InstaSnap is one of my favorite. I covered it in another video, but it adds a tap to snap feature, which is going to shortcut me into Instagram so I can quickly take a picture and share it to you guys on Twitter and Facebook and add in a awesome little filter at some point uh, or depending sometimes I hashtag no filter if that's still cool to say um, the next one I really like it's just kind of a, an aesthetic thing but battery center it's going to add my battery right in there so I can see I'm at 59 percent it's unplugged uh, what I do find funny is often it, it does not reflect the same percentage um, that is up top uh, as you can see here uh, uh, my phone says I have 62, this widget says 59, someone's lying. Uh, but I do like it, like I said, it's an aesthetic thing, um, so that's why I have it. The next one is just very convenient, um, favorite contacts. Now this one actually does have settings that you can play around with, change up the labels and all kinds of stuff, so how it's presented to you. Um, that's back in the general settings. Um, but here you can see that I have my favorite contacts. I can call my mom, my dad, my brother, my grandmother, uh, my fiance, or, or my little brother. So it's just nice to have them there so I can just tap and it'll instantly set up to call them. Now this does integrate with your iPhone's favorite contacts. So if you have favorites already set up, then this tweak will in or this widget rather will instantly um, be configured for you. Uh, if you don't have any favorites, you're going to need to create favorites so that they appear. And that's going to take us to our last widget, which is Omnistat widget, which adds in a bunch of device info to your notification center. So we'll take a look at it here. You can see that my phone's name is Matthew's iPhone, that I have a storage capacity of 13.47 gigs, and I have free uh, about 6 gigs, and I've used about 8. Um, you also have the option to power down the device. Um, actually, go ahead and turn off your Bluetooth, change the brightness, go into airplane mode, all that kind of stuff. I can tap here, I can respring, reboot, or power it off, and then um, I can actually swipe and you guys can start to see more personal information about my device, the battery percent. So I'm thinking that battery center is a little bit off with its battery percentage, but here again I've now added in that my phone is at 62%, the battery widget says 59, and now this widget says 60. So um, the number does change. Uh, However, I do abide by the one in the top right uh, more often, so that I don't look at these and go, that's where my battery's at. Um, like I said, mostly it's an aesthetic thing. Um, some of the more private information down there, as you guys can see, my Wi-Fi, my network, uh, my cell IP, and the MAC address as well. And we'll go over even further, and I really like this one. It's a Pi. It shows my RAM. So currently, I have a whole bunch of RAM free. Uh, I have some active, some wired in, and some inactive. So it's just cool, and I can just tap and it's going to free up as much as it can so it's going to spin here for a second and now it freed up a little bit of RAM for me so that's cool um, it's just something that uh, you can enjoy thanks to this little Omni stat widget moreover you got some more personal information which I've covered up here and we're back to the starting point where we were at with Omni stat widget so these are the top widgets that I use. Now, I, to be honest with you guys, I don't always have them on. Um, the one that I most common have on is going to be the tap to, or the Insta Snap, and um, the favorite contacts, and battery center. I, I don't like uh, using Omnistat that much because it is the largest of them all. So, like you can see, I have a notification from Gmail here. I have to completely scroll down just to see my first notification. I don't like having to do too much scrolling. So I normally have the setup looking something similar to this. I'll have Omnistat off. I will have Instant Snap on, or Insta Snap rather. I will have Battery Center, and then I will have my favorite contacts. I even sometimes turn off Battery Center because it is a little bit chunky. Um, and I just recently put on Bolt, which I actually like. See, there's no battery in the top right of my screen. It's just uh, the percent. I like that. So. Recently, I've literally had this as my notification center, but those are my favorite widgets. I have them because sometimes I, uh, you know, I like to have the option to free up RAM and all that kind of stuff. So, those are my favorite widgets. If you guys have any favorite widgets that I didn't cover, go ahead and tell me about them. I'd love to check them out. Just leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter. It's at Matt Shelley. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day, and as always, peace.